Hello, I'm Amy McKenzie. And I'm Michael McKenzie. Today we will be exploring Padlet, Google Forms, Google Slides, and Pear Deck. They are apps and extensions that can be used for student reflection. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with using digital tools for student reflection. So what is student reflection? The dictionary definition of reflection is serious thought or consideration. Student reflection is when students take the time to analyze their experiences or their work. Students are reflecting when they think back to the activity and describe what they've learned, felt, thought, or experienced. Why is student reflection important? Reflection gives students the opportunity to dive deeper into their learning process and encourages students to think deeply and critically about their learning or experiences. Reflection also allows students to own their goal setting process. Our first digital tool is Google Slides. Google Slides allows for a year long reflection. You can prompt students to write about what they've learned for each week, unit, or activity. You can add the slides to a Google Classroom and make a copy for each student, which will allow you to read and reflect on how well students understood the lesson. Teachers can also use slides as an assessment to ensure student participation. Here's an example of Google Slides that I do for activities with my class. For our activities, we label them on the top, and then I have students write reflection on the left side, describing what they learned in the lesson, and then evidence on the right. Evidence can be anything from a picture or data. In this case, it's data. Uh, you can add pictures of anything that they do in class or even the class in general. In each activity, students get to look back and think about what they've learned. The next tool we'll discuss is Pear Deck, which is an add-on for Google Slides. Pear Deck is a great way to have students reflect during a lesson. Pear Deck can be used on your existing Google Slides or Nearpod. Pear Deck allows students to participate anonymously during your whole group instruction. Once you've installed Pear Deck onto your Google Slides, it will appear in the add-on menu on the top of your screen. When you open the Pear Deck add-on, you'll see that there are two options for adding onto your Google Slide. You can go to the template library, or you can add these tools onto your pre-made Google Slides. Here's one example from the template library. When you go to the template library, you're given different options that help you decide which slide to insert. All the different slides have directions on them that are very clear for students to understand during your lesson. They'll either drag objects or type in their responses while you're presenting the slides. If you don't want to use a slide from the template library, you can create your own. On this slide, I simply type the question, what is one thing you can do to prove to me that you understand how to add fractions? After I typed that question, I came right here to ask students a question, and I enabled the text feature from the Pear Deck add-on. Now, when I present this slide, students will be given a text box to type their response to that question. Here's a really simple example. Or, you can add pictures with multiple questions. You could add graphics, and you don't, you're not limited to just text. You can do a multiple choice or a number or even websites. The next digital tool is Google Forms. Google Forms is a simple way of collecting student reflection. The teacher can start a blank form or choose from the various options in the template gallery, such as exit ticket. You can ask open-ended questions about an assignment or topic, give student prompts or sentence starters, 
provide multiple choice questions that lead students to think about their experience or use the form for goal setting before unit and reflection afterwards. Here's an example of a Google form for student reflection. A multiple choice question could look like, when we started unit XYZ, how much did you know about it? And give students the options. After the activity where we blank, did you understand how to blank? And students can write a short answer. Complete the sentence. My biggest accomplishment during unit XYZ was understanding. Once again, students can answer with a short answer. If you could rewind the past two weeks, what would you have taken better notes on? In that case, students can answer with a long answer. Review your goal setting sheet. What was your goal for this unit exam? In A, B, C, or D? And did you accomplish your goal? Explain why or why not in three to seven sentences. All of these options make students look back at what they've learned. Our last digital tool is Padlet. Padlet provides a very easy way to document the reflections of learners, as well as be able to share learning with others. Padlet allows for whole class reflection, which can help students collaborate. Students often find Padlet quick, easy, and enjoyable. When using Padlet, students have the option to remain anonymous, which can promote introvert involvement. It can also generate more honest and therefore relevant comments on the reflection feedback notes. Students can create their own Padlet and document their work throughout the year. Or you can create a Padlet and prompt them to be more reflective about their learning experiences. Padlet is very simple to use. If you go over here to the settings, you can change the title and then in the description, you can add a question such as, what is one thing you learned from today's lesson? You can also change things like the wallpaper, the color scheme, or the font. Once you have that modified the way you want it, you can share it to your students with a link, a QR code, you can put it on your website, or there's a button for you to share directly to Google Classroom. Once you've shared it to them, they will have the option to add onto your Padlet. You'll see posts popping up from different students as they type in their responses in real time. Here's what your Padlet will look like once your students start putting their reflections on the wall. You can see that they have a title, and a description, all answering the question, what is one thing you learned from today's lesson? Padlet is a great way to have students reflect anonymously. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on our next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.